Hi everybody, I'm Jorge Capistani. I've been teaching tennis for nearly 30 years. I'm a USPTA and PTR master professional. Today we're going to be showing you some information about Quick Start Tennis. Quick Start is what we call the format here in the United States where we have kids play on proper sized equipment with proper sized rackets and balls. It's also happening all over the world. Quick Start is what we call it here in the U.S. But I hope that after this video you'll be convinced just how effective this Quick Start program can be for you and your players. Okay, so here we have two young players who are eight and nine years old, and they're playing on a regular size tennis court. Adult sized rackets, hard balls, we've made no modifications to this court. This is the exact same court that Federer and Nadal would have to play on. Now, because they're not new to the game, you see that they have some success. They're not exactly missing every shot. But the question that we always get is this okay? If my kid can play with a regular ball, do they need to be playing with Quick Start? And if you look at this video, it might be deceiving. So let's take a chance now and look at the same exact point in close-up. So this is the same point. And now let's watch this eight-year-old handle these balls. Initially, there seems to be no problem. But if you watch closely, as the ball comes, and a hard ball will always do this, it starts to push the player around. So instead of the player moving the ball around the court, the, co the ball is actually moving the player around the court. And if you notice, a lot of his points of contact are way out of his strike zone, he's really struggling to handle this ball, although technically he is playing on a real live court. But is this really the best thing? So we have here now is a couple different players, and they're playing on the appropriate size court. This is a 36-foot court with foam balls. Now I want you to watch carefully You see how these points last and the points get developed. These players are able to rally consistently. The ball is in their strike zone. They're able to move each other around the court, and they're actually playing a very good quality point. If you watch the players, they're not afraid to come to the net because they don't have to cover such a large area. This young man at the net is actually making a diving volley in that example, and then he fights it off. And these are the kind of points that can develop, realistic points that just simply don't happen on a 78-foot court with little kids. You see that the players are able to keep the ball in play much longer, therefore they're working on recovery skills, they're moving each other around, and the recovery skills are very important as they start to rally better. Okay, so we just saw a video. You saw some eight-year-olds playing initially. They were on a 78-foot court, and then you saw that they were able to have some success, but it was limited, and quite often the ball was way out of their strike zone when they made contact. Then we showed you a couple different kids on a 36-foot court with foam balls. I think during that time, it was clearly easy to see that those players were much more likely to develop a point. You saw some of them coming in. They're having long rallies, 30, 40 rallies. They were moving each other around the court. And here's the trick, though. Those players, players, you come out, I have Nicole and Quinton joining me, and what you may have noticed, maybe you didn't, is that those are actually the same players, the same players that were on the 78-foot court with a different outfit, having some but limited success. When we put them on a 36-foot court, they were having monumentally more success. They had all kinds of skills, and they looked like little miniature pros. Okay, so here we have Quentin, and he's got different clothes on, but it's the same child. And on the left, he's on a 78-foot court, regular-sized tennis racket, and a hard ball. And you'll see that the ball is pushing him around a little bit. He's able to handle it, although the point of contact is a little bit high. He'll do one more shot here, and look at how he approaches this ball. Now, in comparison, we have the same child on the right. He's on a 36-foot court with a foam ball, and just look at how he moves to this ball and where he makes point of contact. You see the ball is not pushing him around the court. Instead, he's able to step into it, generate a perfect swing. And there's that second one. So now what I'd like to do is take one point, one swing, simultaneously and look at it side by side. The screen on the left is going to be the hard ball with a regular tennis court, and on the right is the foam ball. You see, through this portion of the swing, everything seems to be pretty much the same. 
As a matter of fact, if you pause the swing right about here, you see that they look very, very similar. But from here forward to the point of contact is where things break down. On the left, as often happens with a real ball on a real court, the point of contact is exceedingly high compared to the right where it's right in the strike zone. In essence, he's able to play the ball and the ball's not playing him. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful in showing you the realities of what happens to players when you take an eight-year-old and you put them on a regular size court with full-size rackets and a hard ball. So many times they can get the ball back and forth, but if you take a closer look, too many of the times their point of contact is way above their head. And because they take their first 10 or 20,000 swings at balls this high, they're going to develop a full western grip, grips that might be limiting for them in the future. Another concern is if you put them on a large court, they're way less likely to come to the net and try to learn those skills because it's just too much court to cover. So that's important information to keep in mind. It's not necessarily whether the kid can rally a hard ball back and forth, but how they do it. So let's get kids on this equipment and let's start building some champions. I hope this was helpful.